What is the crack lads and welcome back to another player review. Today we're taking a look at the Leicester club selection. So couldn't have been a worse time to actually do the Leicester players lads because they are in a bit of a slump at the moment but they do have some fairly decent players in their squad. They just don't seem to be clicking this year in the Premier League for whatever reason and obviously losing Fafana is a big one as well but Daka, Madison. I would probably say as well Barnes and Vardy, they are probably worth a look at as well. And obviously these players have got really bad form because of the way they're playing apart from Daka. So in Diddy, Madison, Evans and Barnes all on D form. I don't think many, you know, let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip. Let me know because we are going to be taking a look at the players in a little bit of detail, not going into it too massively because I do think this is one of the weakest packs that they have released so far in eFootball 22 or 23. But we are going to start with the centre back, Sionku, who is a Turkish international and he is going to have 21 levels. He also only has standard form, which is a pity with that C rating. You know, you're not going to get the best out of him. 62 acceleration and he's also let down by his lack of height at the back and the fact that his defensive awareness is only 73. So by the time you've probably put 15 levels of his progression in to his defensive awareness and his, uh, you know, his actual defensive style and his defensive stats, you're probably not going to have enough left to, to get his acce acceleration back up. So you can get his defensive awareness up to like 82, 83. But there's so many different players out there that like completely demolish him from a statistics point of view and from a gameplay point of view. I think he's probably one of the worst centre backs that they've released in the packs so far. No disrespect to any Leicester fans listening. Next up, we have his centre back partnership. Johnny Evans will mix this up a bit and go position by position. Again, he's got 21 levels, 63 acceleration. His defensive awareness is actually extremely high for a player that can go 21 levels. So, you know, you're going to be able to get this guy up to you know maybe the 90s with defensive awareness which you will find a spot in your team for him and obviously he does have unwavering form but that d rating this week lads this is more of a player for the long term hoping that if you are a Leicester fan or if you do buy this pack and you spin you are going to be having these players come to the form um you know later on in the season but again I don't think that Johnny Evans is going to replace the guys that you can get you know for 50,000 GP or 100,000 GP or any of the player of the weeks or nominating contracts that are there, such as Rudiger, which was released a couple of days ago that you could have got for free, um, or any of those guys. But again, it is worth keeping an eye on him. If he was in a form, he's going to get a massive boost to his individual stats. But check out my beast video where I, I you know, put up eight beasts. I have a part two coming as well later on tomorrow. Um, so that should help you guys out. These are guys that are just absolutely dominating eFootball 23 at the moment. Next up, we do have Ndidi before we in, in uh, go into the next part of the video with the center forwards and the attacking players this guy is a very intriguing one right because he's got 30 levels and the reason why i say that he's an intriguing one is because he does have standard form which is a pity and he's on e rating but again if that is to flip flop a little bit and he's to go to a b or an a rating this guy has got incredible player skills i always talk about man marking interception sliding tackle aerial superiority one touch pass low lofted pass he's got them all so he's able to pass without having to really touch up his stats so you could turn this guy into a monster now i do have an alternative for gp that you guys could get in the video that's coming out tomorrow and it's a surprising pick that's for fifty thousand gp and he looks an absolute beast and i think he outperforms in diddy in pretty much every aspect of his game but this guy isn't a bad one if you do end up getting him he is probably one of the pick of the bunch especially as he's a destroyer but he does have that man marking and interception player skills as well it's just a four man is a killer next up we have got dewsbury hall and we have got Barnes, and I'm going to cover these two very, very easily. Again, 35 levels for Dewsbury Hall, which again is a good lot. It is a good lot, but it depends on where you want to play him because he does have that standard form and he is on the C rating. It is going to be difficult to kind of make this guy a master of all trades. He's just going to be kind of average in every kind of stat really that you look at. Now, he does have a lot of player skills. Like he does have a bit about him. There's no doubt about that. And he's got like a nice height for a center midfielder position. But again, is he going to, you know, take 
a, a, a spot on your team if you have been playing the game for even a month i think you're going to have a better center midfield partnership between your dmf and your cmf than what is here on offer for dewsbury hall again his defensive awareness is poor his tackling is poor his acceleration is quite decent so you would probably have to play him as an attacking midfielder but then i'd question why you wouldn't just pick pedri you know somebody like that who is an absolute monster or graven birch or somebody like kamavinga or tushimeni or somebody like that if you're looking for a box to box or even bellingham who's quite cheap as well next up we have daka who's a center forward now he is the only one in this club pack of the leicester players selection that is on a form which is interesting to say the least because he is a fantastic player and i do really really rate him he was one of the hidden gems of efootball 2022 and the reason for it was because he just had so many different stats that were really 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 good and advantageous if you were starting off in the game he had super sub fighting spirit acrobatic finish first time shot and then he had a load of dribbling stats as well even though his dribbling stats aren't there he does have a lot of dribbling skills so it is an interesting one definitely is an interesting one to check out i think he is the pick of him because of two key things and that is his acceleration and his offensive awareness when you boost up his dexterity you will genuinely be able to get his acceleration up to the 90s very very quickly and his offensive awareness up to 80 that's one key thing i don't like about this card is that you do need to have a high offensive awareness if you are playing a man up front to lead the line, a la Romario or Eto or somebody in that ilk, you know, that you need, Raphael Lau or somebody like that, that's going to lead the charge for you. If you're playing a two-man strike force and you've got one tall, one small, or one up in the air for aerial battles and stuff, he might be able to be a good player, but I think that there is better options there, such as Diego Jota or somebody like Martinez or somebody like that. Next up, we've got Madison and Barnes, who are AMF and LMF. Madison is probably um, one of the best players in the Premier League at the moment. He is struggling with form, but I don't think that this card is that bad when you look at it, except for the 23 levels. Now, he does have standard form and he's on D rating. So again, I'm not going to spend too much time going through these boys because there is no point really. If you pack these, you're probably not going to be able to play them because their form is going to be so low and they're never going to be up for arrow apart from Daka. So there isn't too much point going into full detail with them. But again, speed, acceleration, ball control, you know, not the worst for that card. And again, there is so many players in that AMF role for 50 to 100,000 GP that if you do a couple of the events or challenges, you will have enough to buy a better player than him, such as Kovacic would be my pick if you're looking for a player similar to Madison. We've got Barnes up here now as well, 24 years of age, 25 levels, nice speed, nice dribbling. He's got that trinity of, of stats that I really like to see, 80 dribbling, 80 acceleration, and 81 speed. So again, if you're going boosting that up, you'll probably be able to get him into the 90s, 90 dribbling, 90 speed, 90 90 acceleration and then 81 or 82 offensive awareness ball control when tight possession will obviously boost up as well with the dribbling um and again this guy does have standard form on d so it's just a pity it's a pity man now he is a prolific winger but he can only play on the left side of the pitch as an lmf or a left wing so that's a bit of a bummer as well you run into a lot of problems with that if your players are down form and then last but not least we have jamie vardy having a party 24 levels he's c form 82 speed uh 81 offensive awareness and 80 finishing very very nice stats for a center forward vardy has standard form as well but he does have a track back gamesmanship one touch pass first time shot chip shot control acrobatic finishing heading and outside curler and fighting spirit so he's got really really good player skills there's no doubt about that but is he better than daka even on this card pack probably not is he better than jota is he better than Liao? Is he better than Nunes? Is he better than somebody like that? I would probably say I don't think so. I would probably say I don't think so because um, he is always going to be a good player, obviously. But yeah, I definitely don't rate Vardy this year as much as some people. I know his stats tell a good story, but he just seems to be very, I don't know, his physical contact and his balance seems even worse than the stats show. Um, and especially since the eFootball 2023 update, which I'm going to talk about in my next video about the Beast Part 2 that you need to buy, Beast that you need to buy Part 2, I'm going to kind of explain a little bit of things that have changed in some of the way that you train up players and stuff. So that is it for the Leicester pack, lads. Let me know what you thought. Will you spin or skip? I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you think of this pack. Peace.